is Rena Wells and welcome to my channel. I'm sorry that these last few uh, signs are quite late getting out. Um, I've been super booked and very busy with my coaching clients and I haven't even been able to get things up for my monthly subscribers. So um, I'm, I've had to really, I'm going to be changing a lot of things on the channel because I can't handle the amount of readings that I'm getting and I'm going to have to take readings away eventually. Um, because coaching is really becoming a huge thing, and um, I'm here for bigger things than just pulling tarot. <laughs> so, with that being said, this is for your Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and Virgo. Please make sure that you take a look at your other signs that make up your chart. This is an interconnection spread for whoever you're thinking of. Mostly, I deal with twin flames and highly sacred connections. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and comment down below. Okay, if you want to know anything else about me, take a look down below at my website. I write blogs as well. Um, there's also all my services and everything that you want to know about me. And if you want to read any testimonials, uh, it's all on my website. If you would like to apply for a free coaching session, you really are serious uh, to looking for a coach. That information is down below too, but please be aware that... I am now over about 100 applications, and it's taken me a while to go through those as well. And please only apply if you're really looking to invest in yourself. And that means financially, too. This is my living. This is how I build my business. And if you have problems paying for your spirituality, then we're not going to work well together. And I'm just going to say that out right now. Because a lot of people have this mentality that you shouldn't be paying for spiritual. And um, I'm sorry, but that's the system and how we live in this world. If I could, I've given freely my whole life. And um, I can't do that anymore because people just take. So I'm just putting it out there and I'm just being really firm about this. And this firmness is coming because I'm just tired of giving away. I give away so much and um, I'm done doing that. So it takes a lot of my energy. And that's another reason why um, I can't even look at some of those applications. So please just be serious when you apply with me. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising for Virgo for the rest of December, I know it's supposed to be December 1st to the 15th, but again, this can be, time is so fluid in general, so it can be happening now, it could be happening next month, so take it as it resonates, okay? Let's see what is going on in the overall energies. Here, we have the High Priestess, okay? We have the Page of Wands, we have the Hermit, and we have the strength card. So what I'm getting here is there's a, a lot of um, heated discussions that have caused Virgo to really go within and hold pull their energy back. You're trying to really use your intuition on certain things. Mm. Yeah, I'm drinking matcha tea at 10 o'clock at night. I had to do these readings after my kids went to bed. That's how busy I am, guys, okay? Um, so, yeah, this is... Heated discussions, things that have been happening that you have to go within for going, you've had to, you're really learning. This is, you know, Leo energy, but I'm really feeling that this is, you see how there's a wreath on there and there's a wreath um, around her waist. There's a lot of earth here as well. And what I'm feeling is that you're trying to ground yourself, hold yourself back and still trying to have a very um, strong stance in um, taming that ego while you're going in with these um, and trying to find the, the wisdom of what's happening here because... We've got here some heated discussions is what I'm getting, okay? And, yeah, something sparked some kind of uh, fiery type of communication. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies. That's the overall energy. Uh, did I just pick one, two, three? One, two, yeah. So let's see what's going on here. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. I feel like this is really a break. Something, there's a separation that's happened here. There's some, you know, time distant that you guys need some time away. I feel that you're both not seeing eye to eye. Um, I'm feeling that you've got to really get into the darkness here and really get deep into your own darkness. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's take a look here. So sorry, guys, I know I'm not my old joyful self, but I'm exhausted, okay? Really exhausted. Um, the energies have been crazy lately. The bookings have been crazy lately. The teachings that have been coming through me have been crazy lately. So it's, you know, um, I'm just trying to do a lot. <laughs> so I haven't forgotten you, though. 
Okay, so let's see here. So we read from the inside out here, and really the prominent energies that's playing around, that's playing prominently right now is the Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups. So there's an apology that wants to come forward, and I really feel that's Divine Masculine. He's really trying to let go of control issues and move forward, but um, still having some control around it, and that's why the sadness is coming in here, wants to come forward to offer an apology to this Divine Feminine, have some type of communication after all of this heated discussion, um, because and apologizing for moving away. This person could have may have had to cross water and to travel towards you, uh, may have promised that they were gonna come see you, may have promised that this was going to work out, that even though there may have been distance there, could have been distance emotionally as well, physically. Again, this is general, so take it as it resonates. But wanting to apologize for the distance here, um, whatever this discussion was, uh, this heated discussion that forced both of you to kind of go within, that's forced both of you to kind of have to look back and tame your egos. Masculine energy has really tamed their egos now and really looking like, how can I move forward and make this apology? Because um, really sad about what he's lost here. Same with Divine Feminine is really sad and what she's lost, but she's expecting this apology or she's going to walk. She is really done here. And um, Divine Masculine knows that he has to offer something in order to come forward before, you know, she actually really does leave. I feel like he can feel the energy that, yes, yeah, something is about to happen and something is about to leave. And so we've got the Ten of Cups on the bottom. So knowing that um, this has to happen soon. But let's take a look here at the Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Can you please clarify, Spirit? Yeah, there's a lot of pain here. Wanting to apologize for the pain that's that's happened. Can you clarify, please, Spirit, the Knight of Cups, uh, want, the masculine wanting to offer this cup of love? Yeah, for union, for a solid foundation, we have the uh, Four of Wands, okay? So knowing that... <laughs> they may have screwed up somehow, okay? So let's clarify here about uh, this Page of Cups with the Divine Feminine. Really expecting, yeah, wanting to know more, okay? Wanting to know exactly what happened, trying to seek more, trying to know like what happened here. I deserve something, I need some type of clarity, I need some kind of communication here, or I'm really out, I'm really out. Six of Swords, please, Spirit. Clarify Six of Swords. Yeah, so I see this as Divine Feminine kind of waiting around, but really looking at the sadness of what she's lost. Spirit kind of wants you to move forward here with the Six of Swords because um, there's a cloud coming here that you're not seeing this offer that's coming in. What's this offer that's coming in, Spirit? Yeah, a new beginning here. So wanting you to end cycles here, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, this masculine may not be ready. Let's clarify the masculine energy here, Spirit. Masculine energy, just the masculine in regards to the Divine Feminine and the connection to the Divine Feminine. This is for Virgo. Yeah, see, wanting a second chance. Wanting a second chance with the Two of Cups. So it really depends on you, uh, Virgo, if you want to take this. You know, wanting, see, you want a second chance with this. And, and yeah, Two of Cups, <laughs> really wanting a second chance here because there was an ending. Wow, wow. Look at all the major arcanas that are coming here for masculine energy. So I feel that they're trying to change things. They're trying to transform themselves so that they can manifest this. They know that they have to end certain things, certain behaviors is what I'm feeling, that they've had to really go in and learn how to tame that ego before that they can come forward. But they do want a second chance. Let's see how Divine Feminine is feeling towards Divine Masculine here. Yeah, see, things had fallen apart here, Tower with the Five of Swords, so conflict, fighting, um, not seeing eye to eye, somebody walking away, so yeah, heated discussions here, and things totally fell apart, so Divine Feminine, I mean, is still kind of hanging around, but more in a sad place, and Spirit wants you to still move on, move forward in your life here, okay, let's see Divine Feminine with, we have the Divine Feminine here with the Five of Cups, let's clarify that. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is, the good luck is coming. So stop looking, again, we have the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, sorry, looking at the Three of Cups that have fallen and the Two of Cups that you don't see, Two of Cups behind you. So the Divine Feminine has to pull this energy up and leave and needs to end certain cycles and behaviors. What does Divine Feminine need to end her spirit? Fighting with yourself and battling with yourself about this, okay? What does Divine Feminine need to end her spirit? 
Yeah, to come into illumination and your own happiness and quickly move towards what makes you happy. So if this situation is not making you happy, Divine Feminine, then it's time to really move forward. No matter if this is a, a, a counter, a twin flame, your divine counterpart, who you feel that you need to be with. There's a lot of lessons um, in darkness and in pain that Divine Feminines need to learn in order to come into a really divine, sacred space within herself. So Divine Masculine here is really wanting a second chance. Is Divine Masculine ready, Spirit? <laughs> He's had spiritual lessons. Wow. It's Divine Masculine here has had spiritual lessons and wants a commitment, a higher form of commitment, and uh, has knows actually that <laughs> whatever Divine Masculine had to end and end certain cycles or whatever divine masculine had this heated discussion and had to go within was about materialism a lot of readers say that nine of cups is oh it's wishes fulfillment it's the best card in the deck well if you're on a spiritual journey it's okay <laughs> i don't know about you but i don't care you know yeah i want my nine of cups i want my house i want my job i want my money but um, I want a spiritual love. And the spiritual love is the 10th cup. And so that does not have that here. And so there was a big spiritual lesson here is what I'm getting about commitment in regards to material love. And that's why they want a second chance. All right. Let's see if it gets some advice here. And that will be your reading, Virgo. I am going to the extended with my subscribers. So those probably won't be posted until the next day. I am recording them, but I will try my best. It is late to get those up for my Soul Tribe family. But there are monthly meditations up there that transform and really help people. And we do monthly discussions as well with questions, Q&A. So check that out. If you'd like to join, you can cancel at any time. Let's get some advice here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Please, Spirit, can we get, please get some healing messages here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Thank you, Spirit. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Thank you. For December, basically for the rest of the December, first of the 15th, but... What do you need to release? Okay, so that's really what we're talking about here. This is really a time of releasing and moving forward. And um, let's get one for Divine Masculine. Can we get one for Divine Masculine? Some advice here. We've got two. Have faith in your dreams and a time of healing. So even though Divine Masculine may want a reconciliation, may want a second chance, has learned a lot of lessons here there, and wants a second chance at this union and wants to manifest it, there's still a lot of other lessons that still need to be learned here before, you know, it's a time for healing right now and to before this, this dream can come to fruition. All right, so much love, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.